Hello, welcome back to Six Ages. Let's see where we can go here. Uh, I think this time before we get into the proper year, let's read and see what our our, um, our clan circle here has to say. So, Jindaren says the same thing every year. Scouring the valley for bandits will make our mission safer. Uh, says Amara. Other clans will be interested to hear about the magic wolf. Yeah, that's something we can go share. People are quite healthy. Good, good. Uh, this is a good year to ride to the gods' war. But we can help our chances by performing the ceremony venture. I'm not sure what that means. People are fairly open-minded right now. We had a percentage in from uh, these three folks. We could spend more magic helping our herds during sacred time. We should complete preparing our clan hall. That's what I want to do. Clan hall. Clan hall decorations. Must have 50 cows worth of goods. Or hold an inaugural feast in the hall. We don't have a hall yet, do we? Oh, we guess we have the hall. We don't have the decorations or anything. We could just have a feast. Um, Scour for bandits is what he wants to do. Search for spirit rocks. Ceremony exploration of about the wolf. Trap for furs. Trap for valuable furs increases goods more effective in dark season. We, can, we could wait. Can we do that just whenever? I don't think so. If these neighbors produce enough arrows that we are well supplied for a year. Um, produce silver and gold items, weapons, tool, leather, furs, and cloth increases goods. I think we should do that, actually. Who leads this one? Some sort of, I'm going to let you lead it. There's not like a craft thing, is there? No. And Daro, uh, get us some crafting. I think, I think that's what we got to do. We have to be pleased to make goods of unusual quality. And Daro praised the flying glaze of the pottery and the strong and beautiful bronze knives. Okay. It's our ongoing venture for the year. So hopefully they'll bring in a bunch of goods. Because we're kind of short on that. We need that in order to make like our, our, st our stone walls. All kinds of things we need in order to get that. So I think what we're going to do actually this time is probably do a bit of raiding. We can raid the Fire Flowers, the White Fox, the Chovashta. And we got three allies with us now. Um, and I think we can get some probably good stuff. We could actually go in and maybe maybe just make some more demands. What if we go to the White Fox? Let's send an emissary over there. Send Chuck Norris in. Bring plenty of swords, plenty of bows with you. Man's become a real threat. We can sign a larger escort or first devote some time to scouring. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not going to bring anything with me. Just send him. Oh, wait, where did I send him to? Here's a white fox. Yeah, okay, white fox. White fox. Uh, discuss tribute. What do you make? I want a, uh, I want an annual tribute. And I want... I want a dozen goods. Said they admired our initiative, but saw no reason to pay tribute. Offering us kumis. They assured us that, uh, they were at least as strong as we were, if not more so. Conchavas, a proud noble of the Griffin clan. His belt flashing? We think we've seen that before. Uh, approaches you for an alliance of the Griffin clan. Victory, re recent victories impress us, he says. Especially against the... Uh, yeah, yeah, you think so? We Griffins are strong too. Together we will be stronger still. Strike fear into the hearts of riders. Wheels and rams alike. Sweeten the, sweet the pot. You know what? Yeah. I'm okay with that. Clap his hands in satisfaction. Together we shall weave epic tales. Yes, we sure, we sure shall. Who are you? Griffin, right there. Okay. We got four allies now. Uh, we don't have a trade route with them. There's trade. Trades and wealth. Uh, this way. Yeah. So we can see we got trade with Arrowstone, Redfeather, Redfeather, and Zarhawk. Let's go make a trade with uh, with Griffin. What do you guys have? They don't sell slaves. They're just erratic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go trade with them. I would like to buy. Uh, let's just do establish a route. We could try to buy a lot of goods from them. Actually, just buy a lot of goods and sell them a lot of herds. Let's try it. See if we can just get ourselves some... Yeah. Although we have three regular trading routes, this isn't enough to support a seasonal market. Some less friendly clans claim this is because we are too poor to trade. Anyways, back from the Griffins, the Griffin traders were pleased to receive the first caravan. 30 cattle for 32 cows worth of goods. Please get cattle and goats from a different land. Okay, that was quick. So what about our market? What about our market? You're trying to say we need more, uh, more defense. We're gonna get raided because we we're getting rich, especially with all these trade routes. I'm back from mission for mining yarm. Oh yeah, yeah, the yarm cutting. This we found to the east. It came from a faraway land that knew us not and cared not for our humiliations. I will always remember their furor uh, on the Chattish light field. Our party faced many dangers on the way back, way there and back, but are stronger for them. Delegation of rams requests parley at your border. These are not local rams, but traders from a kingdom to the south known as Vestatis. 
Although distinctions between different Orlanth worshipping peoples mean little to you, you do know their reputation as great warriors and magicians. They've come from the home helping the trade for treasures. Offers six goods worth 60 cows for any treasure you own. Oh, what do you think? These are for the rams. I think I should do this. Everyone says no. Except for my leader. No, he didn't know. Except for her. I want more than 60 cows for a treasure. Offer was already generous, and they had not come here to haggle. Okay, fine. Which one do we want to give them? I don't know. Um, uh, what do they do? You can have um, the cloud parting banner. Oh, it tells me. Okay. Decreases magnitude of defeat when defending against rams. Aids in curing the sick. We like that one. Rewards openness to new ways. Age ritual drawing on the power of spirits. Grants divine blessing to worshippers of Zarlin. You know what? You can have this one. The star scope of Zarlin. Satisfied. Okay. Look, we actually have goods. We'll do this not right now, but we're going to do this uh, later on. We're going to build us a proper stone wall. Jindaren's very angry about things. Oh, no. She's angry now. She's angry. How protect us if we were attacked? It certainly is. Um, let's see. Let's go and send another emissary out to... Um, these guys keep attacking us. We can maybe get a... Uh, well, let's see. Let me go do... Before we do that, let's do some exploring. So she went out here to the hills this way. I found a couple dwarves. Of, I actually want to go up this way and see where that's where that goes. Let's go um, send a couple of them out. I'm not going to send Eranos, though, because I don't want him getting lost. Let's send a... Yeah, you. Send you. And I want you to go... Can you go this far? You can only go... But you can go past the mountains and go... Just go as far as you can. Let's go explore some things. Uh, Mizanda's not dead after all. Oh, she's the one who went west. We, we thought we lost her. She said that her group was inadvertently written, written into the gods' war. She alone found her way back after outrunning a giant wheel. Not everyone believed this, but everyone could see that Mazelna seemed to have aged seven years. Delegation of the priestesses from the Var Varleving clan came to solicit gifts, celebrating the birth of a baby girl. These are the ones we play with our head, right? They say that she is special because she was born to the youngest of the three sisters, descended from Vinkot, founder of the people, and thus from the Orlanth, their sun-slaying god. People consider this an old presumption from the part of the Rams, who were foreigners and often our foes. They give us two of their shaggy cows for hosp giving hospitality, hospitality from our patrols. Wealth, um... Hmm. Earth magic blessing, you say. I should just say no, go away. Give them wealth. Um, I have some magic. Should we give them... You know what? Earth magic blessing. There you go. Oy. Like four cows. Priestesses performed the ritual, but saw that Nialdo withheld her favors. Ram priestess regarded us scornfully and said that the baby Redaldo was better off untouched by paltry magics. Now we and Nialda must have been busy granting blessings to her own people. Who was that again? That was you down here, right? Garbling. It's another. What's another expo exploration down here? Just explore this way. Send in uh, you. Go do some exploring. Me and my party were able to cross the Black Eel River without too much trouble. Do worry the next time might be, be as easy. Uh, confronted by a band of ragged outlaws. Her escort is slightly outnumbered. What should she do? Bluff her way. Kill as many as possible. Try to avoid a head-on fight. Try to avoid the fight. The Rainier group skirmished uh, with the with the outlaws, trying to lure them up a hillside. When they saw what she was trying to do, they fell back and didn't, did not pursue. We got more clans coming in. Arrowstones and Red Feathers seek the Nucralites. Uh, aid in resolving a dispute. Each claims to make better dumplings. Stone-cooked stew and beef cube sauce than the other. They ask you to assemble a panel of elders to impartially judge the dishes. What is this? <laughs> Frivolous as the dispute might seem, both sides take, clearly take it with great seriousness. All right, Iron Chef time. Uh, drum up spirits, judge the contest. Um, just on merit? Yeah, yeah, we're not cheating here. Uh, on merit. Judges declared all meals delicious, and in the end they decided that the Red Feather Clan made the best beef cube sauce, while the Arrowstone edged them out over the... Oh, good call. This pleased the Arrowstones, but infuriated the Red Feathers. Oh, all right. Sorry, we're still allies, right? What's that say? The Magic Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
white foxes like us least. Uh, it is dark season, not really time for killing. It's, um, ooh, Moody's optimistic, eh? Good, good. Um, let's see here. I wanted to do, which one was it? The market one. Make market more profitable. Let's build a, a shrine to that. And let's do another sacrifice here. How much do you want? Seven cows. Okay. Understanding, understanding, blessing. All right, chroniclers, gather in the story tent to breathe in the intoxicating smoke of your glorious past. Each stripe on the tent represents a fresh era in your clan's history. Time has come for a new strip of fabric to be added to the new tent. To the tent, which em uh, which emblems representing your clan's upcoming deeds will be sewn? Eyes red with holy fervor, the chroniclers ask how you wish to procure the new fabric. That's another. Well, let's see. Um. Sees it from the crafters, creature crafters of the Zarha clan, a way to deliver the Grey Wing of it. Purchase it. The crafters can make it. I, uh, I got the crafter, um, you know, I got the crafter blessing, right? Let's do it. Crafters, you make it. We have to accept the task with relish. We won't be able to make so many things to trade this year, they said, but the story of our Trant clan is more important than that. We were exploring to the south. We spotted a marker with Hyalor's rune. Middle of the field, we, I decided to dig under it. I found a small glass bottle. The sort that uh, the Perondito priests made back in Navora. Looked empty, so I took the stopper off. We all heard an amazing, whinnying laugh. It must have been Gamari. Uh, Hi, Alora had uh, hidden one of Gamari's laughs to find, for us to find. We're the only ones here at 14 gold maned horses galloping, came galloping up. Followed us home. The bottle is old and worth a little something, too. Is that something that came into my. I can hear? Maybe she's not home yet. Okay, food stock piles are good. We have the Oath of Peace. That's with uh, with the uh, Oon guys. We have a lot of goods. Let's build a wall. There we go. Delegation from the Zarahawks arrived. Asks for a pledge of betrothal. They want uh, I've two, the young girl of your clan who gained early fire magic, to wed one of their young men. When both are of age, they offered standard bride price of 10 cows. She's no standard bride, though. Come back when she's of age. Well, I, I don't know. I kind of want her to stay in my... He who gains a bride loses a fortune. Makes her special. You can always use more livestock. <laughs> um, people will like it if we wait. Consider what I, I've, uh, I have two wants. Or if we get many cows. Most of the things on fire, which will go a long way with us. We're already friends with these guys. I guess we're going to have to give her away to some clan anyway. Um, come back when she's of age. They said they understand. For uh, they too want what would bring Hive to happiness. We ventured to the north where we found rolling foothills, populated with goat herding outlanders. They call themselves the Urgashites. So I suppose the place must be called the Urgashite Foothills. Or Urgashan, perhaps. Just like, just. They just said the hills, like we say, the valley. If the goat folk had anything worth taking, they hid it well. Oh, raided by the blue crests. Uh, boy, we don't have a lot, so I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in three magic to defend. Uh, we'll do two magic to defend ourselves. We're just gonna drive them off. There's a lot more of them, but we do have some good soldiers here. Plus, we got a wall. Um, let's do some skirmishes. Exchange missile fire with the blue crests. They got the worst of the deal. We are now out of arrows. Charge! We, uh, the two forces ran together. They found ourselves locked in melee. Do we let him have his day again? I think we do. How old is he now? Take as many as possible. Go for the, uh, fight a lancer riding a flame-wreathed mare. Oh, my. No, just take out as many as possible. Ernos charged into a mass of blue crests, and his flashing sword cut down many of them. His steed struck out as well. Berserk time. Although they fought with Berserk Frenzy, they could not match our own ferocity. In the upper hand, uh, yes, the gods helped us out. Berserk again. Okay. Well, we haven't lost a fight yet. Alright, let's get uh, some more people in here if we can. Two warriors out of that. 
This is all of our cultivated land. I'm getting concerned. We have been raising grain on it for about five years now. It's just beginning to show signs of exhaustion. Next year or so, we need to prepare new fields. At least we can rotate some of our pasture land. Okay. Help of the gods to ensure people are fed. Plenty of food for now. Okay. Oh, no! Fire flowers. Just survival is all we want. Can we get a magical ritual in here? Yeah. Ba battle glow. We're going for that one. Prepare for battle. They uh, shot arrows. A priest completed a ritual. Warriors felt a warm glow. Okay. Um, let's just skirmish. I had to charge through our devastating stream of arrows. Uh, which I guess we found some more of. Wait for our opportunities. We still push them back. Tactics one. Okay. Zohawk emissaries, emissaries come to ask if you know the story of Tablets of Hylor. If so, they need to learn it. And will forgive a favor you owe them in exchange for its full and true details. Do I know it? Um. I can share it with him. That's what you guys want me to do? Let me just tell him. Yeah, tell you the story. The departed, pleased. Okay. All right. We have zero goods. That's not good. More adults. Uh, 12 more people. We've got more cows. Only 21 worth of goods, which is not good because we need 34 for our shrines. Uh, Shaman said that they had more swarm sworn spirits a year from now. If we had more sworn spirits, yeah, we'd be able to drum up more magic. We are now known for hiding, for finding secrets of Hylor left before he died. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We did that. Uh, we need, I guess, crafts. I wish it said exactly what it, what it was going to do for me. I'm guessing that's what it does out there, though. We are losing our herds as well, so let me go put some effort into this. And we want to put effort into just our land here. Maybe a ritual. We were supposed to do a ritual last time. Let's do that. We'll save some of our magic behind. We cannot afford to make the proper sacrifices to Pela. And our shrine has fallen into disrepair, which is not good. That's the one we need. Party of Naraoni came, uh, came to our borders to ask permission to pass through their way to trade outside the valley. The, uh, the way they asked certainly upheld their clan's reputation for arrogance. Scorching words, I puncture their haughtiness. Naturally, I do not let them rumble across our lands. Good job, Mazelna. Okay. Next, what should we do? You want to go deal with bandits. Um, wolf magic. Healthy. Open-minded. Open-minded. Um, not actually a requirement to have a woman on the circle. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Shirakum. Complete preparing our clan hall. We don't have any goods. Um, what do you say? It's not too early to prepare new fields. Yeah, I think we need to do that. Convert pastures to fields. Or can I just... Foraging. Herding. How do I do that? Maybe we can't anymore? I want to... Um, we can convert pastures to fields. Pastures and land into new fields. I don't want to do that because that would lose our um, horse, our cows and things. Crafting would give us... Oh, no. Um, maybe we go to tell the stories. Hunting would be good. Scour for bandits. That's what he... That's what Jen Darren really wants to do. Tell everyone about our recent exploration. Maybe they'll give us good for it. Seems like, I don't know. Um, let's go. Yeah, we'll do that. There's a number of clans in the valley over many weeks. They were eager to hear about our exploration and particularly impressed by the magic wolf. Okay. Ram girl, Sarius, uh, has run away from a people of the... Ginadari clan to be with one of your young men, Shadaru. Rams forbid intermarriage between the two peoples. As riders, you take this a step further, forbidding sexual contact. The hunters who caught them say it was plain that they had flouted this sacred prohibition. If he has impregnated her, it is highly likely the offspring will become an evil magician. What do you think? Encourage them to drown themselves. <laughs> um... I can equip them and then exile them. People want us to show what little mercy we can. Um, I want to keep them, but I guess we can't. 
When we are plagued by evil magicians, they often turn out to be the result of forbidden lust between rams and raiders. Everyone wants me to just, like, encourage them to drown themselves. That seems, that seems a bit harsh. Uh, you know what? Just, just go away. I'm gonna give you guys some gear and then go away. Gave them a riding horse and a pack horse and gear needed to survive by themselves. The people were glad we had done the humane thing, which is more than custom required. Yeah, we're good people. Sometimes. Okay. Fields are showing signs of overuse, that's for sure. Let's get another trading going here. Let's establish a trade route with the Griffin. Okay. Can I? What am I missing here? Um, I'm not sure why we can't. Does it need to be something different? No? Hmm. He looks different, too. Uh, we don't have one with him, do we? Maybe because we have an alliance with him, it doesn't want me to? Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's go establish a... Um, let's see, who else do we have here? We haven't really done much with a flint heart. Let's go, let's go um, establish a route with a, a flint heart. Bring a couple folks with you. There's some bandits out there. And uh, let's just uh, let's just chat with them. I don't know what to do about these fields, except we, we're going to have to go in and rebuild our... Uh, not this one. This one. We need to go build that back up. Sochidoro, a foolish man of our clan, and Sirius, the ram girl he, he rashly loves out in the wildlands. Despite all odds, they have survived by themselves so far. I don't see any signs that she was pregnant. If they do have a baby, and it lives, it will be an evil magician. Back from the Grey Wings, the Grey Wings traders are pleased to receive the first caravan. There's some goods. Location from the Lastraling clan. Rams who were as well disposed towards you as any other kind request your participation in a raid against one of their kingdoms to the south. The Infiltelli captured one of their trading parties. They have a grudge against us ever since we split from the uh, from them to settle here. Our party was skirting their lands on the way to a different kingdom when they kidnapped them. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it. Ernest, go get him. We'll send ten warriors, ten bows. They were glad for the help. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so we got all the way up this way to the Jord Mountains. We can actually make it into the Jord Mountains, though. Let's uh, let's send an exploration party up there. See what we can find in the mountains. And we're gonna send you. Yeah, get some good magic. The uh, Airstone clan engaged in a year-long ritual, which uh, just ended with them attacking the Olmarth clan. They are victorious, gained magical benefits. Adopted the last survivor of Ilimpur after it was laid waste by the Rams. They hate Rams as much as Indar, okay? Good for them. Now we're being raided again. What's he got there? I hit my Thor here. Um, we're going to send in... We're going to send in a couple of some magic here. Because we're out... We are certainly outnumbered. Let's drive them off. Let's, uh, let's just maneuver. Outmaneuvered them to superior position. Take advantage of an opportunity of a slaughter. Darren and the fighters closest to him have managed to cut off a good number of them. Chance of killing all of them. They're in a defensive position. What does he do? Just work on winning the battle. Okay. Now let's go wait for opportunities. A ram noble warrior strikes down Jin Darren, your war leader. What? It's a cudgel blow to the head. Without immediate healing aid, he will surely die. Shardani... Uh, who has been standing by as one of our auxiliaries, can wield the power of Arissa to provide it. What does she do? Yes. Armed escort to his side. Um. Um. Yeah, call the name of a healing goddess. Slings whirling, they hurled stones at her. Keep going, yes. Piercing stones smashed her skull. Oh no. One of our bows galloped to grab her and pulled her back to safety. We watched Jen Darren. No, not Jen Darren! Oh man, he's my he's my my leader. Um, hold your ground. Press our attack, shaking our morale with our resolve. It was soon over. Oh no, we lost. Combat magic was stunned stunned many of our warriors. They were we were driven off in the battlefield. Uh, the Jernelvi drove off twenty three cows and two horses, which they had trouble driving. Aided away by Arissa, she saved a few folks, but not Jen Darren. Well, now I don't have a clan chief. At least the mood's optimistic. Who's going to be our chief now? 
I was going to put Ernost in there because he's, you know, kind of a hero, but uh, he's not here. We can put him in as soon as he gets back. We can put Shireen in there. She's pretty good. I don't remember what clan he was in. So Parnt is missing. So we need someone from Parnt, or we need to kick someone out of Turrent. Um, we can kick... Oh, I don't like him anyway, so we'll kick him out. And we need a part. Do we have any part? There we go, there's one. I got one of those left. Okay, so Serene's going to be our clan leader, I guess, for a little while. I think that's okay. Serene, are you any good at things? I mean, you're good at lots of things. Worship's Anilla. Uh, Anilla. Yeah, you know what? Okay. There was a mention that nobles of a particularly thin-skinned wheel clan, the Dar Shamay, have been telling tales against you. The next time you cause a front, they'll teach you to mind your place. They threaten a feud which the wheels can call an oath of enmity. Tradition feuds did not exist before the Exodus, and they do not acknowledge that they have adopted any new customs since the Golden City. Their peculiar sensitivities of and blind arrogance make feuds with wheels especially hard to end. Um, I don't know. Convince them they have more to fear from a feud than you do. That's, I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. You got more to fear than we do. Who's, who do we send the lean on them? Some, a good diplomat. Which is going to be Heston. Send, yes, and then Chuck Norris in there. Bring some some strength with you. Not a whole lot because we got to defend ourselves. You reminded them how many times we bested charioteers. And that we knew how to exploit the weakness of their war carts. Their nobles did not flinch, but we could tell that our arguments had sunk in all the same. Another turret. You want another one, huh? Ah, I see how it is. Alright. We need to get more people in here. Offer them an extra cow. Three warriors. We lost a lot of goods for that. Back from, from the raid we undertook in uh, with for the uh, with the Lasterlings. Together we swept into the lands of the clan. And we got free prisoners. Sixteen warriors were hurt. Twenty cows. All right, we got to get some... Uh, let's go do a raid real quick. It's dark season, which is not a good raid time, but we're going to do it. We need to get a raid for herds. Let's go hit the white fox. It's been a while since we hit them. I know... Can we hit these guys? No, we can't. Fireflower, maybe? Let's get the fireflower. I don't like those guys. Blocked by deep snowdrifts. They were forced to turn back. Oh, man. Never mind. It's too cold outside to be doing that kind of stuff. Alright. Got the barley has been blessed. Uh, I can't do a ritual for you, can I? I can maybe do a ritual. We tried this one before and failed. Elk Hunter. Grant blessings. Help our pastures gain blessings. Let's do this one. I don't want to have a Busanari person, though. Mm. Let's do it. Seek the raid? Sure, let's have someone else help us. Two clans agreed to help, expressing their confidence in our ability to reach the cow mother's heavenly pasture. Do you seek the assistance of wheels? They too depend on Bursanari, but over generations have a lot of errors to creep into stories. Yeah, you know what? No. Bursanari of Bursanari typically attempts this ritual. It calls for someone adept in leadership and provisions of food. We don't have any Bursanari people. I don't think. No. Food. We need good food. Heroic. Shireen is going to do this one. Obviously, we're going to send in. Yeah. And good leadership. We're sending in our uh, our clan leader. Why well, the circle? I perform this ritual now when there's no devotee of Bissonari. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we're gonna bring a lot of goods here. We're gonna get something good. She finds Bussinari's daughters in a chilly pasture. While wow, wolves howl, snarl in the distance, hungry for their flesh. Uh, we can sing the cows a calming song, a song that came from our lips. Let Elmal worry about what lays beyond the fields. Lars Loden, taking heart from its ancient melody. <clears throat> As the sun plunges from the sky and falls into hell, confused and frightened by the dark, herds break up. How does she get them back? She's going to reassure them. And the song comes to uh, her lips and it's called, Now is the time to gather ourselves. And they did. Ice comes to fill the pasture, killing the grass. Glacial howl fills her ears. What does she lead the herd? How about south? The right direction, right? It's called the right direction. Skirt of foes, both ancient and new, to finally arrive in a green valley. Shireen leads the daughters of Busanari to a verdant valley. There, Gamari greets them. Ask Gamari where their home is. Everywhere, she says, for you are now free to, as from your former pens, which were prison. Uh, they seem to uh, pleased to hear this as Gamari is to say it. 
can heal them. Take them to be received by Elmal. Take them to Nyalda. Urge Gamari to give the daughters her joy in wandering. Yeah. Horse Mother wrapped them in her fortifying flame. It gave the daughters a the bravery they would need in their lives. Busanari appeared to Shireen, thanked her for herding her daughters to their new home. They would not have made it without you, my daughter. I would like to give you a gift and thanks. What boon does Shireen seek? I can do my abilities, cows, a magical treasure, blessing to bring calm to the clan, blessing to your pastures. I would like... Um... Ooh. A, mm, I like a blessing to my pastures, please. So blessed our pastures. They would be lush and green for 15 years. Clans who did the most to support the right shared in its benefits. They banged cowbells in salute to Shireen. Those who withheld their assistance lamented, imagining how fat and sleek our cows would be compared to theirs. Hey, it actually worked. Good job, Shireen. All right. Um, you know what? So let's give you a sacrifice, too. I'm, I'm happy about this. Uh, I like you. Let's go. Uh, how much do you want for this? We didn't devote clan magics to rituals during sight, so we should make a larger sacrifice now. Oh, yeah, we just did. Oh, we don't have enough magic. We can't do this right now. We got zero magic. Negative two magic. Um, all right. 54 goods. We can... Let's see here. What should we do? Yeah, we gotta wait for... We can't do anything other than feast, I think. We can't even do that. Yeah. Um, we have a pasture bounty. So we should get as many cows in here as we can. We can try to go steal some cows, but it is storm season. If we send someone away, we have people going up there already. It's way out there. Um, more spirits, Omen. Spirit indifference. I don't know what we should do here for this last little bit. Trade a couple more people. There's only one bow who was ready to become a sword. Lyophor, well, youngest of the children who gained a fire magic prematurely, has grown to uh, quietly confident as an adolescent. Dreams of fire bid him to journey alone in the wilderness, he says. Lyophor assures you that he need not fear him. You need not fear him, as is Elmo's call as he follows. God of war and fire asks for one of our sons. It's not time to cry, but to celebrate. Yeah, fate him. Might have singing, fermented mare's milk. Yeah, yeah. Thus we turned our fear for him into pride at his bravery. Back from our expedition, which took us to the north, we explored an area, and I can describe as bleak and largely featureless. Well, that's boring. What was that? That was up... You get all the way up here to the mountains, and you found nothing? Hmm. There's a little patch over here we can go explore. Let's try it. We may not be to get too far, but let's try that. We're going to send in her again. Head out that way. Don't bring too many. You're gonna, they're all going to die, so don't bring too many. For six years, our fields are exhausted. Barley won't do well. We need to clear more fields and let animals graze on the old ones. Fire flowers stole 29... Mm. How many walls do I need to build? Oh no, we lost, lost that guy too. Last words were to bless his family and curse the rams. Try a hard but fair barton. Take advantage of the opportunity to gain new spirits while the omens were good. Oh, I guess I should have. Yeah, whoops. Sorry. All right, new year. And uh, let's see how this one went. We got Shireen's first year. 27 babies, 15 people. We got seven fewer people from folks dying. And less cows, less horses. We got we got some goods, though, so that's good. Market made a profit of 66 cows worth of goods. Um, thanks for the uh, bowl of unity. The Sears rode on a wild ride during sacred time. They learned that if we sent no more than a dozen warriors, our first herd raid this year would be extraordinarily successful. No more than a dozen. Gotcha. Gotcha. We'll do that. So let's go raid some folks. We're going to do some some war um, crafts again, I guess. Uh, we need to turn our... We need to do some field magic. For sure. I'm going to put one point to exploration too. Okay, we only got two magic left. I'd still walk on my people, even if it doesn't happen as often as it once did. The Red Feathers were attacked by a screaming bird god from the north. Gobbled up their horses. We surely be visited by our own gods. Okay, I think it's time to call it a day here, though. So, thanks again for watching. And we'll, um... I think we're our adventure. I'm not sure what we can do. If you have any ideas, let me know, and we'll see if we can figure something out here. I'm thinking maybe we need to just convert our pastures into fields. I don't know. 
our fields are bad. We need to turn our old pastures into fields. Our old fields into pastures. I'm not sure how that works or what we can do with that. Um, have more temples for at least a year. Yeah, we'll have to figure out what we can, what we need to do that with that. I'd really like to do this, uh, these, these decorations, though, and get that done. We need 50 cows at least worth of goods to do that. Hold an inaugural feast might be a good idea as well. Let's we'll see if we can get the goods up, and then we'll go do uh, that uh, preparing. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.